Welcome back, guys. I've been having a look around the map and, and looking at the towns and seeing what needs to be done. Oh, my God. There's so much that needs to be done. Where are we going to start? We're going to start with Port Royal. And I'm going to head into the shipyard. And we're going to get some orders going because we've got no orders for ships currently. And that's a very bad thing. And we're going to focus for now on our special ship, the Trader's Flute. Uh, or F Flout. It should be pronounced, I think. Right, so um, 84,000 these are. Good Lord. Well, we're going to get a couple of those orders placed. Good, good, good. All right, so that's that. Next, I spotted this down here. It seems like a vessel has sunk right here because a lot of commodities are swimming in the water. Approach them with a convoy to pick them up. Hooray. Okay, well, we're going to use the seaweed, which I... Um, mistakenly didn't put onto a, uh, a route <laughs> last time yeah i know i know don't worry it'll happen again so um the seaweed we want the seaweed to just go down to here Thanks. about there would do nicely okay that's going to head on down there now there's a couple of things we can do with the uh, with the awesome source okay first of all let me select the, uh, the awesome source. First of all, we've got a task at Port Royal. They want 400 wood. So, go on. I'm going to accept that. We'll do that. But also, down here at Turks Island, I went around and looked at the, um, the workers. And Turks Island is about 400 workers short. We need a lot more workers going on here. So, we're going to do something about that. Um, the other thing... If we look at Santiago, Santiago, yeah, we've got a fairly decent tobacco industry over here. Uh, but we've got like almost a thousand in stock. Okay. And if we look at uh, what we're shipping over to Port Royal, like we've hardly shipped it. It's the 11th of December. We've hardly shipped any over there. Um, we only shipped about half, well, about two thirds of, of, of what we should have shipped last time. We did. Um, we shipped more than enough cocoa. Um, we were almost bang on with the coffee, but tobacco a little bit low. So we want to get some of that shipped over there. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to try and tie some of this together. So we're going to get the um, the awesome source first of all to go over to the Florida Keys. So I head over to the Florida Keys. Why? Because the Florida Keys. Uh, I was going to say the Florida Keys produces wood. I thought they did produce wood. Uh, apparently, they don't produce wood, but, because <laughs> I went around and looked, they've actually got a lot of wood. They've got like 230 wood. So, we're going we're gonna to head over there and buy their wood off them. Hopefully before somebody else gets there. A lot of fighting going on in Spanish waters. Which is not great for us, but it is what it is. Right, so let's get there. Florida Keys. We would like to buy your wood, please. And I'm just going to buy all of it. Don't care about the price. This is about completing tasks and uh, getting some getting some favour with, uh, with the Viceroy. And uh, also, hopefully getting some, uh, some ship, ship's tactics. Because we used up our two repairs. They are one-time use. It's not one time in each battle. Oh, no. These are, these are one-time things. So we need to do some uh, some tasks and get some more tactics. Okay, so we have bought uh, we've bought that. Where else can we get uh, a decent supply of wood from? Uh, they've only got twenty in Havana. In Andros, we've got we've got fifty eight in Andros. Let's have a look at Grand Bahama. Grand Bahama, they've got sixty eight. Nassau. 132. Okay, we're going to go to Grand Bahama first. Off you go. We'll go to Grand Bahama, Nassau, and that should give us enough, I think. Then we'll sail down to uh, Turks Island and drop the stuff off. Now, have we reached this? Yes, we've reached this. Hooray. Right, the seaweed. <laughs> I love that. Yes, focus on the second word. Right, um, what are we doing? The seaweed is going to pick up this cargo, what do we get? Oh my god! 
that that's a blooming good haul loving it wow wow that's that's a, an, virtually an entire cargo for this ship right what are we going to do now with this ship well obviously we're not shipping enough stuff around here right so um we're gonna we're gonna try and improve that so i'm gonna put in i'm gonna put in a little route uh, and it's gonna be a new route so this time i do want to create a new route i really think the assign route and the create route should be swapped because i'm just naturally like i want to assign a route well that's not like the last thing you do click on that and the, what's the first thing you want to do create a new route Create the route, edit the route, delete the route. That, that, that would be the right order for me. That, that, that seems strange. That's the wrong way around. And also, assign route should be separate because that seems something you do with the ships. It's separate from creating, editing, deleting a route. Like all the route stuff should be together and the assign should be separate. I, th I think that's kind of strange. Um, this is going to be uh, local. Um, Domestic English. Okay, what are we going to do with this route? We are going to start in uh, Port Royal. Go to Santiago, Baracoa, Tortuga, nip into Port au Prince, and then back. It's just going to be that. So, Port Royal, we said it's a standard. We want to prioritize, of course. Selling to uh, no. prioritize selling tobacco and cocoa, and then Santiago can be standard and standard and standard and standard. Okay, um, actually, is there anything I want to prioritize? I probably want to prioritize a little bit. Um, Actually, for now, I was going to prioritise like, like bricks and wood and for the building stuff. But no, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so that's that route, and we are going to put the seaweed on that route. Route, trade routes, assign routes. Uh, not domestic. It'll be the newest one. There we go. Assign. Hooray! Now, a lot of people have said about, um, why don't you click on uh, distribute convoys? Now, I tried this when I was kind of learning the game, and I found that it did, it appeared to do nothing. The other thing is that I don't have, like, huge volumes of ships sailing around here. So, like, the fact that I might have, like, two or three ships which are relatively close to each other, I don't think is going to make a huge difference. But I'm fairly sure that if you if that thing does what we think it does and spaces the ships out, then you're going to get ships like sitting in port waiting to sail out. And time is money. I want my ships on the move. So that's why those are the several reasons why I'm not using that. OK, so that can get on its way. Where um, how's the awesome source doing? In fact, where is the awesome source? Oh, it's up here. Right. So let's follow the awesome source. As it nips around to Grand Bahama to grab a bit of wood, as you do. God, it's very slow. <laughs> very slow. But it gets there eventually. Hooray! Right, let's. Oh, oh that was the blooming seaweed. Let's make that route active. Let's try, let's try that again. Ah, here we go. Right, now trade with uh, Grand Bahama, and we're going to buy all the wood again. Right, we're up to 284. We need, what was it we needed? 400. Oh, yeah, we only need like 400. Yeah, 400. We've, all, we've apparently already, um, already delivered some. So, uh, not too much of a problem. So, you... Head down to, what was it? Was it Andros that had a lot? No, you've only got, it was uh, NASA, wasn't it? That was over, had over 100. Yeah, 130. All right, head on down to NASA. Cool. Oh, we've just gained another fame point. Very nice. What are we going to spend that on? We are going to spend, now, 
getting the large shipyard is one thing, but you can't actually use it until you've got a town with more than 6,000 inhabitants. Now, the problem is, if we look at Santiago, Santiago is at 5,900, right? It can't get any bigger than that uh, until we put in a cathedral, right? Because if we, um, we look at the, the town buildings, uh, where are we? So... The cathedral replaces the church and offers an additional bonus on the satisfaction of all citizens. Um, and it allows you to go up to eight, what is it, 8,000 or something. Uh, I'm fairly sure that the, where, where is it? Um, it's this church, isn't it? I don't even know where the, where the, where the big church is. Is that the big church? I don't know. Well, whichever one it is. Oh, here we go. Allows the town to ac accommodate at least 4,000 citizens. I don't know. I, d I wonder. Do I... Do I, need, I thought I needed the cathedral. Maybe if I make the town just a tiny bit bigger. Um, let's have a look. Uh, so, where it's at? We're at 1440, 1440 workers. Now, maybe I just need to make it a tiny bit bigger. What other business would I like to put in? It's a very good question. So we've got we've got four tobacco plantations. Right, I've got another group of two. They're grouped in fours. We've got a group of two there. Group of four there. Group of four there. Group of four. Group of four. Group of four. All right. So what we want is to throw in another couple of um, tobacco plantations. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Well, I've just learned I've just learned something. I think. I think. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so if we put in a couple of tobacco plantations, one there. And, I don't know, um, maybe one there, yeah, one there. Right, so we'll see, we'll see if, if those get done, whether we just get the extra workers that we need to get over 6,000, and then we could do the large shipyard. So, I guess, I'm going to take the large shipyard. Boom, it's done. Oh, can we get the large shipyard in, that'd be so nice. Right, uh, you're on your way to Nassau, aren't you? Yes, you are. Here it comes. I, I do wish there was like a two times speed because I, I sometimes want to be a bit faster than one times, but three times is like lightning fast. Okay, Nassau. What do we want? We want wood, please. Let's buy up. Now, how much do I want? I only need about like 350 or so, so that'll do. Now, is there anything else that I could usefully kind of buy? I should have checked what, at the other ports, really. Um... Like, ooh, I can get like a few pastries. Yeah, oh, tobacco, we can buy a bit of tobacco. Um, what else can we buy? Oh, a bit of meat, maybe. 173, oh, 173 up to about there. We've got, uh, we've certainly got ample cargo capacity. That's for damn sure. All right. Is there anywhere else that's got like a ton of stuff? Now, let's have a look at Andros. Uh, Andros has got 11,000 bricks. <laughs> Which is like, that's a hell of a lot of bricks. We need to get that being distributed. So, um, come down to Andros, please. Here he comes. We'll get down to Andros. And we'll, we'll pick up all of those bricks. Well, not all of them, but we'll, we'll pick up certainly quite a lot of them. Uh, Andros bricks. 11,000 bricks. We were producing crazy amount of bricks, to be honest. Uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to... I mean, I could actually pick up like the whole blooming lot. You know what? Let's do that. Let's pick up the whole blooming lot. Because it, it's hardly put a dent in this. Which is kind of crazy. Alright, what we're now going to do is head on over to Turks Island. Where Turks Island need like almost 400 workers. So, we're going to do something about that. Head over to Turks Island. Now, oh, now, hello, what's this? This is, oh, a piece of a, of a treasure map. The blueberry is right there. Um... Oh, he promises that he'll give you a piece of the treasure map if you leave him alone. 
Fine, we'll just give it to us then. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. And that gives us which bit of the treasure map? Ah, oh, another edge piece. We need that set of piece. All right. All right, we'll leave you alone, mate. I'm just going to have a quick look around the map and see if there's any more little X's or stars around the place. And I kind of wish they'd pop up on here, which they don't, so that you could like see them. Because otherwise, you've got to keep going around the map like this, which I've got to say does become a little bit. And, they, and I'm zoomed out as far as I can be. So, oh well, it's what it is. Uh, where is the, the, the? I'm not even going to try to say the awesome source. Where's the awesome source? It's coming down here now. Let's have a quick look and see. Does Crooked Island need bricks? Um, it could it could stand a few bricks. We might pop in and sell a few bricks. Is, have they got anything good that we could uh, purchase? Yeah, like no, they haven't really got a lot of anything substantial. So, um, yeah, go to, uh, go to, oh, come on, go to there. Oh, now what's this? Oh, we can get another treasure map for 30,000. Oh, all right then, get down here. You're going to be close enough. The answer is no. Come, come in a bit closer. Can you get a bit closer? Uh, no, apparently not. Seriously? Come over there. There we go. Oh, now you're close enough. I think it's worth spending the uh, the thirty thousand. There we go. And then we'll head. <laughs> I don't. I don't know whether you guys could hear that noise. Somebody started up a bit of a leaf blower outside. God, that's annoying. Uh, right, head to Crooked Island. Good job. Right now. Oh yes, you are at anchor. Let's see. What can we what can we do? We could first of all get rid of some bricks. Oh good lord. Alright, we'll sell a few a few bricks. We've only got room for about fifty. What do I want to pick up then? Uh, the most expensive would be the best. Maybe get a few oh good lord, not too many. A few pastries. A little bit of clothing. Um, rope's always useful. Oof, man. Right, we'll pick up a little bit of rope. Uh, sugar. Logs. Logs is always useful. So we'll top it with logs. All right, cool. Right, now get yourself over to Turk's Island. Go. Oh. Okay, we need to get an award by January the 7th. Ah, oh, we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Go. Oh, we bought that bit of treasure map. I didn't see what we got. Oh, I th I, I've got a sneaky suspicion because I am I am completed one of these. Oh, and now somebody's messaging me. Um, got. I think you've got to get all of the outside ones before you get the inside one. Good lord, that's gonna, gonna take a bit of time. Come on, let's get down here, Turks Island. So, how are we going to solve Turks Island's problem? Well, Turks Island, Turks Island need like a load of workers well how can we help there well we go down here we've got 400 sailors on board now at the moment i'm not doing any combat so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sell well not sell but i'm going to i'm going to dump all of my sailors here boom now those sailors will get translated into job seekers and then the job seekers will fill those jobs Oh yeah, and it'll help grow the, co the colony. So it's all good news. Now at the same time, what could we do? Um, I'm wondering a little bit of, a little bit of wood maybe. Um, some bricks would be kind of good. I mean, to be honest, if we can, if we can even dump them at the this price, it's fine. You know what? Uh, let's take them up to just kind of four bars. That'll do. Just so that there's some stock there. And then that'll get shipped around by other ships, which is kind of good. And uh, we've got a little bit of meat, which we can sell. And a little bit of rope. You know what? I'm actually going to... I'm not going to sell the rope. I'm going to take that to Port Royal. 
imagine that's a better plan. Um, tobacco. No, that's it. That's all we're going to do there. That's fine. Next port of call is going to be Santiago to pick up the um, the tobacco. I'm just wondering, Baracoa, do you have a lot of anything that we could ship? Yeah. Coffee. You are producing cocoa, but you're not producing like that much of it. I think we need to imp like increase our cocoa production. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, Baracoa. How much are we? Um, how, how much are we even producing? That's a good point. Uh, get out of there. What are we producing? Um, we're producing like twelve, which is not not a whole hell of a lot. Yeah, let's let's improve that. Uh, production businesses, cocoa. Where are my cocoa businesses? My cocoa businesses are up here. So let's at least double that up. Let's double that up. I gotta say, I'm kind of tempted to go even beyond that. So now they 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 need to be in groups of four. Uh, four neighbouring business of the same type are combined into long, lo, uh, one large one and receive a bonus of 10%. You know what? One, two, three. Oh, I've run out of cash. Ugh, man. Let's get those building. Now, that means that Barracoa actually needs things like wood and bricks. Yeah, let's... Uh, if I mouse over here, I'll be able to see it. Get rid of that. What do we need? Oh, we need to just need some bricks. So, um, yeah, we'll drop in at Barracoa. And uh, Barakawa, head there, go. Awesome. Oh, a d an optional objective has been achieved. What did we do? Oh, we've, we're now employing over 2,000 workers in our business. Woohoo! And we completed it a year early. Nice. The next one would be to be producing 1,200 commodities a day. We've got like another three years to do that. And we're like a third of the way there. So we're on target. Uh, go, get into port. Barakawa. Right, I'm going to be developing Barakawa. So I think it's a very good idea um, to drop off like a bunch of bricks. Like, I don't know, like... Let's get them at least... Yeah, like a couple of hundred. And then anything else that we want to either buy or sell. We want to buy cocoa. Uh, let's buy a bit of cocoa. Some metal wares would be probably a good thing to take with us. Oh, nah. They've only got what they pretty much what they need, so that's not good. Pastries. Oh, we can actually grab a few pastries. Nice. All right. And that, I think, will probably do it. A bit of coal, maybe? Ah, oh, yes, we can grab a bit of coal. Bit of coal, cool. Uh, okay, um, now we're going to go to Santiago. Yeah, go to Santiago. Now, we're going to have to dump a bit of stuff and make a bit of room so that we can pick up some tobacco. So, Santiago, what can we dump? And what can we pick up? So, bricks. Let's dump some bricks. And we know that we're going to be building more stuff in Santiago. So, dumping, um, dumping a bunch of bricks on them. Not a bad idea at all. Um, I don't know. 100, let's dump them like 200. Boom. So, they've got bricks now, which is a good thing. We can... What else have we got? Coal. Oh, there's no coal here. Make a bit of profit on this. Nice. Dump all the coal. What else? Now, tobacco, that's what we want to buy. Cocoa, we want to be holding. So what what, where have, we, what have we got? We've got 500 bricks. We've got 390 wood. That's what we want to deliver. You know what? I think I'm going to come back. I think I'm going to come back for the, uh, for, the, for the rest of the tobacco. So I guess we'll buy what tobacco we can carry for now. Oh, okay, 400. That's more than I thought we'd be able to carry. Okay, good. And then let's get down to Port Royal. Go! Now, I can pause for a second, and again, I'm going to have a look around.
to see if there's any tasks that we could kind of usefully fulfill. Uh, what does Havana want? They want 155 sugar. Okay, let's do that afterwards. So we'll accept that task. Go. Oh, have we reached Port Royal? Yes, we've just reached Port Royal. All right, let's do this. So, trade with Port Royal. What are we going to do here? We are going to dump... Uh, it was wood that we were trying to supply, wasn't it? Yes. Let's dump all the wood. And I don't care that I'm making a loss. Um, I just want to fulfill the contract. Now, how much was it? It's... Okay, we need um, 287 to fulfill the contract. So let's do that, 287. 287 wood. 288, that'll do. Boom, and we get a repair, hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Now, what else can we like get rid of? Um, apparently we've got some grain on board. Uh, maybe some fruits. Uh, I've done the word. Uh, vegetables we can get rid of. Yeah. Oh, it's corn and vegetables. Sugar. Now, sugar is what I want to ship up to that other place, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What do they need? Uh, they need 155. So, not a massive amount. So, I think we can buy up some here. If I can do it at, like, reasonable prices, I will. So, go on, we'll buy that. And what else can we get rid of? Bricks. Now, let's dump a ton of bricks here. There we go. I might even dump a few more. And even a few more just to get them up to four bars. There we go. Uh, the rope can be dropped off here. That's really useful because they manufacture ships and they need rope. And, and the tobacco. We sell all the tobacco. Boom. And the cocoa as well. We sell all the cocoa. All right, cool. Now, what's that done? This is convenient. To our fame. Hooray! Look at this. We've actually done all of the uh, all of the tobacco. It's got us a nice bunch. We've already done all of the cocoa. We've almost done the coffee as well. So we're maxing out our uh, our deliveries each month, which is really good. Okay, now what, we, what do we want to do? We want to take that sugar up to Panama. Let's see, where else can we get sugar? Man, really? <laughs> we've, got, we've got, okay, we've got Crooked Island producing sugar, and that's like the only place. Um, we, we can get some at this Spanish port, but I really don't want to go over there if I can avoid it. Uh, let's see, Evangelista. Have you, have you got any? They, see, they might have some. Even though they're not producing it, they might have some. No, they haven't. What about Havana, then? Have you got any sugar? No, they've got no sugar. Okay. Okay, now we've got a bit of an issue. Santiago. Have you got any sugar? Yes, we've got 254. Okay, that's where we're going to solve this problem. So, what do I need? I need 155. Now, I don't have a crew on board. Now, I've got a choice. I can either sail around without my crew, right, or I could load up with a crew. Um, if I load up with a crew, then my costs go through the roof. And I really don't want to get into... Um, I, right now, I want to make money. I don't want to get into battles. So we're not going to. We're just going to sail up to Santiago. We'll, we'll load up with a crew another time. So we arrive at Santiago and we will pick up uh, our, sh our sugar. Well, I, can't, I still can't remember what we needed. Was it 100 155? So, Santiago. Let's grab. Um, let's see. Um, to be honest, as long as it, it's a, as like a. Any kind of half day. Well, it's not a half decent price. You know what? Just just pick up a bunch. It's fine. I'm not going to faff around. Uh, what do we have a lot of that we want to kind of distribute or whatever? Oh, uh, we've got loads of tobacco that, we ne that needs to be um, distributed. 
And we've actually got a few ceramics. Oh. But they actually want to consume them, apparently. All right, fine. It's the thing, when town get big, they, they, they want a lot of those um, um, high-end resources to keep them happy. All right, well, we've, uh, we've got what we need. We've got the 162 sugar. Now, I've got 100 wood here, and I think I'm going to ditch that in Santiago. Because um, I'm pretty sure we'll be doing some more building down here. So let's have a look. Wood. I don't care about the price. I'm just going to ditch it. Cool. Uh, clothing. Can we make a profit on clothing? Yes, we can. All right. Let's sell that. And the pastries, maybe. Uh, we can sell some of it. And the bricks. Dump the rest of the bricks here, I think. Yeah. Boom. All right. Cool. This is good stuff. We're making some progress. I've got the sugar that I need. So let's just head straight up there. Go. Oh, no. I actually need to select the convoy first and then tell it to go. There we go. Hooray. <laughs> and while that's happening, I'm going to look around and see if any of my towns want anything. I'll even look around. God, the, the, we are getting hit hard by the Spanish. The... The only thing is, if we look at the I Viceroy, would like to offer your help. The, the cost of the mark, the letter of mark, has come down quite a lot. And I'm fairly sure that that's come down in price because we're getting closer to the end of the war. God, I'd love that to happen. Um, a plague is rampant in Barakoa. And we want to grow Turks Island. Now, dropping off those 400 workers should have helped Turks Island to grow a little bit well we're up to 1600 but I don't think we're going to get it up to the level they want in the time that they want uh, what's the by February the 8th we've got a month to do it you know oh, maybe, maybe you know what maybe we could maybe we could do it I'm thinking that I should actually um I should, have, I should have picked up the soldiers, uh, the, the sailors, gone up to Havana, then gone over to Turks Island and dropped them off and come back and built some more businesses there. Yeah, probably would have been the, the smart way to go, but hey, it's what it is. Um, am I gonna try, you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get that developed. I'm going to do what I can. Um, I've got a little bit of cash. Now, oh, um, where where was I putting in those extra businesses? Is it Barakoa? Yes, it was Barakoa, wasn't it? So, I think this takes precedence. Um, was it Bar No, it wasn't Barakoa. Was it Barakoa? I, I don't even remember now. Oh yeah, so I built two and I put in an extra two. And this, yeah, this is the cocoa plantation. So, yeah, I want a couple more cocoa plantations, please. Which are going to go there and there. All right, okay, that's that done. I can do a little bit of building over at Turks Island. So, we'll do that. Uh, what do I want? Oh, well, first of all, I should figure out what I actually want to do here. It's probably, probably a good idea. Uh, what would be good? You know what? Nobody's producing sugar, are they? We should do some sugar. In fact, we should do some sugar and we should do some rum. Because I have unlocked rum production. So let's do, yeah, let's do some sugar and some rum. Yeah, go on. Right, what do we want? Businesses. Now, rum, rum gets a bonus when it's near to residential areas. So, how on earth would we want to do this? We would want... Yeah, I, I, these, these ones over here that I've put in, I've really put in in the wrong place. I should have put those like over here or something. Um, what, what am I producing over here? So, oh, I've already got rum distilleries and sugar. That is what we're doing here. Well, maybe, maybe we do some more. What have we got here? Okay, this is, oh my God, that's sugar cultivation. That's somebody else's business though. It's a shame I can't demolish that. That's kind of annoying. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just leave that alone then. Yeah, it's a real shame we can't knock these down. That would be very, very advantageous. I just want to say, like, how much room is there here? The answer is there isn't a lot of room. And the fact that these people have built these businesses around here limits the growth of the town. Sucks. Okay. I'm going to ignore it then. Uh, the, the source. Take me to the source. Okay, so we're going to sail up to uh, Havana. And we're going to deliver sugar. Uh, yeah, we're going to deliver sugar. Boom. Received the tactic, ready to board. Oh, nice. Now, the ready to board tactic, uh, which I get in my journal. The ready to board tactic is this one, which gives us a 20% bonus on our strength when we're trying to uh, board another ship. Awesome. Now... I'm kind of tempted at this point to take the Gewaldiga source and put it onto something like the, the local the local route down here. I'm going to do it, you know. I'm going to do it. So, that, I didn't want construction. I wanted uh, trade routes. Domestic. I'm, I'm thinking of putting it on the local domestic English route is what I'm thinking. You know what? I'm going to assign it and we'll say, look, we've got one convoy. It's making four four thousand a day, which is insane. So yeah, go on, we'll do it. Um, assign that. Hooray! Route enabled. Go. Oh, you're going to go around that way. Okay, if you insist. Oh man, it's going to sail through this really slow area. Oh, we've got another traders. Traders flout available. Now, this one, this one's going on to now I've got traders flout, traders flout. I've got that those two corvettes. You know what? I'm gonna hang on to them. And we'll get these things assigned. So you oh the serenity. Yeah, okay, that is that is crazy. Guess what series I started watching last night with Picture Perfect? Because she'd never seen it. Firefly. And I get the Serenity. Oh, hell yeah. We're calling this the Serenity for sure. Oh, uh, we are going to put this. Um, so we've got that. The Serenity. You are going on to the... I think the local domestic. Yeah, so if we go like this way. Um, the, the, the domestic local. Yeah. You're going on there. Boom. And then the other one, because we've got another one. What do we call that? Traders. Flout. Uh, Dark Star 1. Re you know what? I'm going to take the 1 off, because I think the 1 is silly. But Dark Star? Yeah, we'll go with Dark Star. That fits in. Um, I do want to go with some of your ideas. Um, several people have suggested going with the, like, the, the different storms. So... Um, Cyclone, typhoon, tornado, etc. So I think we'll probably do that for the for the next ones that are coming up. Um, we will put you onto. I think we're going to put you on the domestic route, maybe. Yeah, I think we we'll just put you onto the domestic route. Uh, not create a new route, a sign route. I'm going to try and stop doing that. Did it twice in the last episode. All right, go. Uh, what do I want to do now? Port Royal. We want some. Uh, we want some more ships built, don't we? Yeah. Uh, order, order, order. Try to split. One, two. Kill or some sauce. Now we'll go up to Turks Island. Pause. Turks Island. We've got. We're at sixteen hundred. Yeah, I would need to build a whole bunch more businesses here to get that fulfilled uh, we've got till February the 8th potentially to do it uh, where are I want the, the Viceroy because yeah get it to 2600 oh peace talks are underway with Spain thank God I knew it. I knew we were getting closer to the end 2600 and we're at 1600 so we would need a, a thousand workers worth of businesses uh Let's see. 
So sugar, we've already got four sugar businesses. Coffee, we've already got four coffee businesses. Now hang on a second, the four coffee, the four sugar businesses uh, are employing 160 workers. These are employing 240. The rum business only employs 80. Uh, we're not producing tobacco here. We're not producing meat. So let's see. I think um, the coffee business employs like 60 workers apiece. So let's have a little look. Um, we've got, up here we've got the rum distilleries and the sugar. Up here we've got the coffee plantations. So to get like 600, well no, uh, okay I've got to multiply it by four because your workers are a quarter of the the population so if we get we need a thousand people so that means I need another 250 workers here to up the population by a thousand so if I put in another four coffee plantations that would be enough so let's do because that's 60 workers a piece that's like 240 so let's do another another four coffee plantations one two three four oh. uh, and I've run out of cash Go, 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 go. Bring me in loads and loads of money really quickly. Oh, we're really low at the moment. I shouldn't really go down that low because our, our ships won't have enough capital to buy and sell goods, which is not a good thing. But I do want to get this stuff going. We've got to do it by the 8th of February. Come on, come on, rolling cash. Meanwhile, I'll have a quick look around. Oh, look at Santiago. Santiago? Santiago is over 6,000. Yes, so that's that. Okay, that's awesome. I've now got 50,000. Hooray. Uh, now, the, we can put in the large shipyard. Now, how much does the large shipyard cost? I've no idea. Oh, the harbour master accelerates loading, unloading, and repairing of vessels. Ooh, we can do that. This is the shipwright. Uh, where's the large? Here's the large shipyard. Now, how much does the large shipyard cost? 140,000. Okay, can't do that right now. And I want to get this going first. So, I'm going to let it run a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Try and get a little bit more cash in. Come on, get over 100,000. Oh, man. We just made a big purchase by the look of it. Oh, what does Crooked Island want? Uh, hemp is really suitable to be produced in this town, and at the same time, our trading partners have a great demand for it. Which producer is able to build up to two businesses in our town? We are. Accept. Hemp production. We could do that. All right. So we could get into uh, rope building. Now, I think we're already producing hemp and rope here. Yeah, we've got like one business of each. Okay, well, we want to do a lot more than that. So that's the rope yard, and that's the hemp plantation. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this, I think, we want the, the rope places. Um, close to population. Okay, we'll put a second rope yard in. And then we'll put... Now, we get a bonus for having four of the hemp farms together. So we'll do... Oh, man. Not enough cash. Seriously? How much was the rope yard? Oh, the rope yards are 50,000. Good Lord. All right, well, let it run. Come on, suddenly get me a lot of cash. Come on, do I bring in 50,000 or something? Really quickly. We're running at three times speed. Oh my god, down to 54. <laughs> That's not good. Come on. There's still the war going on. Peace talks are are happening. We need the war to end because we'll make loads of money when the war ends. Are oh, we on 40? Here we go. Come on. Go up. Go up. I didn't leave enough trading capital. That was the problem. That's what's hampering us now. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go. This is a bit better. Can I get one more business in? Come on. <laughs> go up, damn it. Crazy. And yet true. Okay, now we're getting up there. 60, 80, 100. Okay, that'll do. That, that's close enough. Let's get this second business put in, which is going to be the hemp. The hemp goes in. Uh, yeah, hemp goes in there. Uh, what are these? 35,000 each. I want to get the other two put in so that we get the bonus. So, pray that we get some cash coming in really quickly. And get over 100,000. And I'll throw those two businesses in. Uh, hang on. You've agreed to, t uh, to build two businesses in exchange for hemp in this town. I have built two. Oh, I've actually... Oh, I've got to get them built, I guess. So we need uh, a few bricks and a few metalware. That shouldn't be a problem. Go. Mm, go. Keep going. Man, come on. Come on. Bring the cash in. The reason this is jumping about so much now is because we've got these ships with much higher capacities that can buy huge amounts of goods. Oh, all right. We're over 100,000. I'm going to do it. Uh, so, construction and two hemp fields going in. Boom and boom. Task completed. And what did we get? I didn't see what we got. We got... Oh, we got combat sails. Nice. Current vessel receives an additional three movement points. That can be blooming useful. All right, guys. We are going to leave it there for this episode. Oh, hello. We've got on a, on a shore, a trader is sitting on a big mountain of commodities. Nice to meet you. I was on my way to Cat Island when the convoy's captain suddenly demanded more pay for the transport. When I refused, he simply dropped me and my 808 commodities off here. Would you take care of the commodities at a discounted price? Oh, um, hell yeah, we would. All ah, right. You know what? If you want to see me, if I can actually get that done, then you'll want to come back for the next episode. We got any more stuff going on? Any more stars around the place? Is the war with Spain ever going to bloom an end and allow me to make some decent profits down there? I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't see any more stars around the place. We'll have a quick look down on the, amongst the English guys. Oh, Martinique. Martinique wants 70 rum. Uh, Port of Spain wants 85 meat. Oh, loads of stuff to do. Guys, come back for the next episode. Keep leaving your comments. Keep leaving your ship names. And I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.